Tonight on Evening. Team Evening here from Capitol Hill celebrating the start of Pride Week. And the pride and joy of the Mariners, D. Gordon will dance his way into your heart. And we will surprise Chris Pratt with questions from two of his former coaches at Lake Stevens High School. And glitter beer, is it really a thing? Apparently it's all the rage across the country and even here in Seattle. Yep. Plus sparkles galore at an extravagant pageant on Bainbridge. Glitter and sparkles all in one. Well, and we are at the most colorful bar on Capitol Hill, sure. Unicorn. Yeah, there is so much carnival packed into just this one place. From magical cocktails to funky food, they even have a photo booth and pinball arcade. There's also a claw machine with lots of prizes, Ooh, ah. though we can't show you every single one of them on TV. No. Oh my. <laughs> uh, there are events every night of the week, uh, including tonight. It's karaoke night. Oh, well, there's nice. drag bingo on Thursdays, mm -hmm. or Tuesdays, actually. And then they have a new Mimosas Cabaret that is starting next Sunday. Last night, they had kind of an amazing drag show here. It was called Jurassic Park. Uh -huh. Like, Jurassic Park. Uh -huh. Very that cute. That leads us right into the next part of the show. All this week, we are celebrating Jurassic World because, of course, one of our own, Chris Pratt of Lake Stevens, is the big, big star. That's right. And so, you know, we try to bring a piece of home for him every yeah. time we get to talk to he him. So that. he does. Yeah. And this time, I thought it would be great to have some other people ask the questions for us from Lake Stevens High School. <laughs> You know me. Long before he trained dinosaurs in Jurassic World, Chris Pratt was a student at Lake Stevens High School. So I thought we should talk to a couple of the people who trained you <laughs> in life. So they I'm had so, some questions for you. I'm so excited for this. I always love when you do this, Kim. Okay. I, I'm just so grateful. All right. So. Oh, Hodge. This is oh, my, my gosh. Mike Hodgins was Chris's football coach and leadership class advisor. Hey, Chris. Hi, Mike. What was more memorable for you? The very first fish you ever caught? or your very first headshot. <laughs> wow, that is a pretty great headshot. First first fish you ever caught, do you remember? Nope, I don't even remember my do first remember, fish. Do I you do, remember your I, first headshot? I couldn't, how could I forget that headshot? Yeah, I think the first headshot has got to be the, the most memorable. <laughs> I caught a lot of fish growing up and, and I'm not exactly sure which one was my first, but uh, my first headshot is pretty, it's pretty memorable. What was more exhilarating or more adrenaline spiking? Being in the King Bowl your sophomore year for the state championship game, or your first standing ovation in an assembly when you were Danny Zuko in Greece, or being face to face with dinosaurs. <laughs> By far the first two. I love being face to face with dinosaurs. I love bringing these films to the big screen. It's a big deal. But uh, for me, being in the King Bowl, sophomore year in high school, playing in the Kingdom, that was unreal. And I was, you know, it's like 14, 15 years old. That was pretty big. And then. Uh, and then that's getting a standing ovation for doing the thing that my brother had done before in leadership class and building on that. I peaked right there. <laughs> and then it's been a, kind of like a, gra a gradual plateau. Yes. It's been very pleasant yeah. for 20 years. <laughs> Next up, Brent Barnes, Chris's longtime wrestling coach. Chris, I was wondering why you haven't turned in your wrestling uniform from high school. Uh, <laughs> Could you answer that please, Chris? Do you wear it around the house? I Let's do, be it's honest. a singlet. Singlets are super comfortable. They are the most hideous article way? of clothing. No, they are a hideous article of clothing. That's what I'm saying. But in terms of competition, it's you, okay. someone else, and nothing. You know? <laughs> they, used to they used to wrestle naked in, in the Olympics, because it's like man versus man. Yeah. But they, for some reason, stopped doing that in high school. And I'm, I, for one, want to bring it back. Okay, hashtag Thank naked wrestling. <laughs> yes! And also, Chris, it looks like you're you're missing a, a book from the library, uh, Jurassic Park. You know where that's at? <laughs> <laughs> you never read that. I, I, I'm that just trying school. to I'm trying to get through it. I'm trying to. Get, it's a big book. Most book. It doesn't have that many pictures. It's so hard to get through. I'm close. Hey, Lori. Um, looking for a finalist for a Chris Pratt. Yeah, we have the the wrestling singlet. I hate that I have to be the one to do this, but they. <laughs> Wait, what? Interest in handling fee of the singlet is 1300 This is why we need everyone at home to watch Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So Chris yeah. can pay his Chris debt. Chris has got a debt yeah. with uh, Lake Stevens, what is this, Lake Stevens High School? Yes. Yeah. You gotta pay your debt, dude. No, nah. I'm gonna let it roll. I'm gonna let it roll. <laughs> as soon as I finish the book, I'm right, I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it back and you'll get your you'll get your money. But the the singlet's mine. The singlet's mine. <laughs> Okay, needless to say, the bill was a little tongue-in-cheek. 
Okay, that's good. I don't think he ever checked Jurassic Park out of the library. He needs to pay it, though. Okay, sure, pay why not? Thing. He can probably afford it. But yeah. we, we do want to thank Brent Barnes and Mike Hodgins and Lake Stevens High School. They were so much fun to play along with us. And they're really genuinely so proud of Chris yeah. in a way that, but I think that they also are proof that they helped set his, I mean, they were great people that helped set his life on the right path, I have to too, say, so. you top yourself every time you talk to Chris Pratt, so I don't know what you're going to yeah. do next time. Out of ideas. Pressure's on. Have to <laughs> arrive at like a parade full of clowns or something. I think he just needs to co-host. Huge, right? Maybe he just needs to co-host with us. Yeah. He can be like the fifth amigo some show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you had another thing exciting going on. You actually went out to the Fremont Solstice Parade this weekend. Well, right? you know, they actually, those cyclists came all the way up to Ballard. So that's when I saw them rolling by. It is a singular Seattle event to see in person. Yeah. Well, there's another eye-catching event that's part of the Fremont Fair, the Art Car Blowout. Quirky cars from all over the country were on display. Yeah. Some are decorated colorfully, others wow. a little more on the creepy side. I love the flamingo car. Oh yeah, or how about this? This is called the Toy Yoda. All, ah. the, kids, all the kids love it. It even has a bubble machine. Okay, well the star of the show though this year was the Madonna car, a 17 foot long tribute to the Virgin Mary. That Madonna. Made by an, yes, that one, made by an artist from Arizona. There was also a parade of costumes at the Bainbridge costumes, Farmers Market Michael? on I Saturday. Like mm -hmm. I don't wear costumes. He says he doesn't. It's you this do. costume thing. It's thing, just yeah. ongoing, isn't it? <laughs> but you would love this because it's costumes, but they are on chickens oh, in yes. a poultry pageant. Welcome to the poultry pageant. Well, the categories we have are fantasy or sci-fi, most delicious, and also famous or historical. I am Michael Jackson, and my chicken is supposed to be Michael Jackson's love. We're the hippie chicks. <laughs> I picked a mermaid because she's sort of like a princess. She rocks his style. We call him Caesar. He likes strutting his stuff. Um, when he's not in his costume. Uh, he's a bit overwhelmed by everything. The moon for the snitch. I think the, uh, that's an awesome costume. The winner of the famous or historical category is Michael Jackson with his love. The winner of fantasy as Harry Potter with the golden snitch. Yay! And we've had the goats masquerading as chickens, dressed up as uh, mustard and ketchup in a, a hot dog. Congratulations on most delicious. Thank you. Congratulations to all the winners, all members of the Bainbridge 4-H Club. And that event kind of helps them get ready for showing at the fair. That's awesome. All right, stick around, birds, because up next we'll get to know Dee Gordon, the Mariner dancing his way into our hearts. <laughs> Can't wait. Plus, dare Dever, dare me? Yes. See what happens when I get nautical get at nautical. the Seattle Sailing Club. I dare Dever to conquer the sailor sea. <laughs> get yours today. They've reported from around the world, challenged the powerful, and they bring all of this to every story that breaks. Why aren't you going inside? And touches your heart. There's a hug that almost never ends. I didn't want to let him go. Sip in summer with the top picks for Washington Rosés. Plus, I'm Kim Holcomb at Kualoa Ranch. This is Jurassic World and dozens of other movies. We will take you on a tour. Evening, tomorrow at 7.30 on King 5. The Real ID Act goes into effect in Washington State on October 1, 2020. Standard Washington driver's licenses will no longer be valid for domestic air travel or accessing some federal facilities. So will this affect you? It depends on your travel habits and other factors. You may already have what you need, or you may need to get a new ID, like an enhanced driver's license or passport. Go to ID2020WA.com to learn about your options. When you buy a home with a Redfin real estate agent, you open more doors. The more you open, the closer you get to finding the right home. Redfin sends new listings hours faster than other sites, and you can quickly book tours to see more homes first. Your Redfin agent will guide you at every step until you open the door and close the deal on the home that's right for you. Redfin, the modern way to buy or sell a home. Want more out of your next car? Well, what do you want more of? More premium technology? 
More cargo space. More savings. How about more fun to drive? Hyundai has four Elantras, and all of them are backed by America's best warranty. Each one giving you a great deal more than just a great deal. What more could you ask for? Get up to $2,500 in total savings or 0% APR for up to 72 months on the Elantra. Only at your Western Washington Hyundai dealers. Welcome back to Unicorn as we celebrate Pride Week here in Capitol Hill. Unicorn also has its sister bar uh, downstairs. downstairs right. Narwhal. Yep. Right. It's a great place to come get a fun twist on bar food. Everything from the unicorn dog to narwhal balls. Oh, Don't perfect. save it. Yep. The other thing, you guys, they have air conditioning here. So it's a yes. perfect week to come here that and hang out. That is awesome because yeah. I'll tell you, sometimes it gets hot in Seattle and sometimes a team from Seattle gets hot. The Seattle Mariners yeah. off tonight. They are heading to New York. Playing That's the right. Yankees tomorrow. How about the M's? Amazing. It's been a magical yeah. season. I mean, yeah. In a season of bright spots, one of the brightest spots has been Dee Gordon, second baseman. Mm -hmm. He moved from the outfield into second baseman. Kano got here. He's been amazing there. We got to know him a little bit better at the safe recently. He tells a story that will send a tingle down your spine. This story has been told over and over again, but I think a lot of Mariners fans don't realize what happened when your teammate with the Marlins, Jose Fernandez, he dies in a boat crash. Your good friend, a day after, I hit a home run. Wow. And this is the day after he this died. This is the day after he died. And the part of the story a lot of people don't know is, he used to always be like, doggy, you need to hit a home run. You need to hit a home run. I was like, I'm saving it, saving my one home run for a good situation. He always wanted me to go deep. Did that change you at all? Uh, You're super emotional there. It showed me like being a professional athlete, sometimes you could think we're above the law or above dying, or right. above real life things. It just kind of brought me back to you're not above anything. You're still human right. just like everybody else. That's right. Your dad played Major League Baseball That's for right. two decades. Yeah. Uh, his nickname was Flash Gordon. Yes. So you're Flash Junior, right? Yes. So what was it like playing catch with him? Was he like firing in 90 mile an hour fastball as he, as a five year old? No, not really. He, he, was, he knew how to throw, throw BP right. to us okay. and stuff. He could, yeah. he could tone it down a little yeah. bit. So yeah, we played a lot of catch with him, a lot of BP on the field, things like that. And that kind of started your career? I mean, is that how you feel no, like you're No, I out still here? hated baseball. <laughs> yeah, I heard this. Yeah. You love basketball, right? Love basketball. Yeah. So, I mean, if you, you like it now, right? Oh, I love it now. That's why I think I love it so much because I just started playing that yeah. long ago. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So you think you like it more because of that? Yeah, that's it's cool. not a job. It's right. a job for the rest. A lot of these guys, it's their job. Right. I get to have fun. <laughs> and I get to play in the big league, so I'm, I'm winning. Woke up, fresh kicks on the man. Your brother's like a rapper, right? Yeah, my brother's okay. a rapper. I... I'm not musically gifted at all. <laughs> well, if you do need a rap name, I came up with one for you, and you can use this free of charge. There's Heavy D, an old rapper. You can be Not So Heavy D. Not So Heavy D. What about, like, Skinny D? I like that, too. <laughs> That's actually better. <laughs> That's really cool. So, I understand that, that you're quite the dancer. Yeah, being in Florida, like, we would have, like, dance battles and stuff, right. and, like, at parties and things like that, so. Everybody could do it. So you do this thing called flossing, right? This yes. Is like my kids do this, this dance it's yes. called flossing. Can you show us how to do it? You know what's crazy? I can't teach anybody how to do it. I just can do it. Now you brought your mitt. Yes. Do you have anything special on your mitt? Yes. This is my mom's initials. Cool. With my brother, my two brothers, and my little sister. How, do the, how does that represent your brothers and sisters? My brother TC, this is his number. Nicholas, this was his number. He changes it all oh, the right, time. Okay. And my little sister used to be number nine as well. Oh, that's cool. Well, this has been a magical season. It's been cool. So far, right? It's been cool. You're enjoying playing the infield, right? Yep. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Steve. Great right, to meet you. All right, great to meet you. I like that guy. You should. He's a great guy and a great dancer. And for every stolen base that he, that he gets, mm -hmm. he donates 200 dollars to fight top against poverty. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really that's cool. awesome. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was a great weekend to get out on the water. I don't know if you had a chance. No, oh, well, if you have never skippered a boat before but you would like to, Jim, take well, it away. Yes, that is the subject of tonight's Dare Dever. I hit the water and I skipper okay, a boat right. all by myself. Put on your life vest, you're gonna need it. <laughs> It was once the pastime of the rich and famous. Sailing used to be considered one of the hardest, most expensive things to do. 
But thanks to the Seattle Sailing Club, even a landlubber such as I can follow my siren song to the open sea. You can join the club and use the boats as if they're your own. It's no experience necessary. We want you to become a sailor. First, too easy. A little classroom instruction with club manager Scott Galbraith. We draw a boat. That is the worst drawing of a boat that I have ever seen. Then the challenge laid out before me. How to go from there to there at the back. That's right, I'll need to skipper a 35-foot J-105 sailboat around a distant buoy and return safely to port. I dare Dever to conquer the sailor sea. Get yours today. Time to put my newfound seafaring skills to the test. Removing handle. It's going to be tacking and jiving. Replacing handle and pocket. He's going to be driving the boat. Tighten the thingy, batten the other thing. To maintain order. Not the jib sheet! Barking commands in a harsh sheet. tone is a good idea. Come on, people! No, that's not a good idea. Come on, people! Once the command structure has been established. I'm slightly concerned about drifting into that thing. We're able to work together to round the buoy. That was a little closer than I wanted. Headed downwind, one of the most dramatic moments in our sailing adventure. Ready, Skippy? Ready. Hoist the spinnaker. The hoisting of the spinnaker. It is the most colorful part of sailing, and uh, it's also the Ready. fastest part of sailing. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Head to wind and flaking. Time to celebrate. You gotta be kidding me. Float. I don't want to float. <laughs> Dare taken. Voyage complete. Uh, okay, so if you ever do that, if you ever inflate the vest, remember that can okay. be a very expensive process. You gotta re yeah. They have to put a new oh, canister new in canister there after right. you do that. Doesn't so just happen. Yeah, okay. Don't mess around don't with that. Don't do that. But if you would like to be like Captain Jim here and in who, all other capacities, yeah. Yeah. the Seattle Sailing Club can get you started and they can put you on a boat. That's right. Coming up, glitter beer. Is it a thing? We'll tell glitter you beer. where you can huh. get it in Seattle this week. Plus, the Lake City business that lets you smash your rage away. <laughs> Tomorrow on King 5 Morning. Why is she stepping down? We're hearing from the retiring superintendent of the Marysville School District. Plus, it is hot. Some places already getting to 90s. We're going to see how long it's sticking around. And dinosaurs, too. In the studio, I'll show you why. Live with adventure in the 2018 Toyota RAV4. With plenty of available cargo space and the latest technology right at your fingertips. Live with the confidence of Toyota Safety Sense, our most advanced safety features as standard equipment. At Toyota, we believe that making great cars makes people's lives better and safer. Now get $2,000 cash back on any adventurous new 2018 RAV4 or lease an all-wheel drive RAV4 LE for $219 a month. Toyota, let's go places. September 29th is National Coffee Day. But then again, that's pretty much every day here. But AARP in Seattle thinks today should be your day. So connect with us at street festivals or sporting events, or get resources to help you plan for your future. Whatever you decide to do, we're here in our community helping you and your family make the most of it. So take on today and every day, double espresso in hand with AARP in Seattle. Get out and go in the HRV with 0.9% financing and no payments for 90 days. And enter the One Tank Trip Sweepstakes for a chance to win a three year lease on a new Civic or HRV at your nearest dealer or online at WesternWashingtonHondaDealers.com. Everyone has their own idea of a healthy, organic life. This is my farmer's market. This is my personal trainer. This is my cross training. And this is my bread, new Oro Wheat Organic. Nutritious ingredients, a good source of fiber, with no artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors, and no GMOs. It's one delicious, healthy decision I'm more than happy to live with. New Oro Wheat Organic. This is my bread. It's a great castle. Huh. That feeling. Only better. America's best bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty. 
Standard on the Volkswagen Atlas and Tiguan. Hurry in and lease a new 2018 Tiguan S4 Motion for just $199 a month. Visit VWDealer.com today. We are on Capitol Hill tonight at uh, Unicorn, and I am enjoying an Americorn. Mm. You see why it's called it? Americorn? Yes. Look, it's very yeah. patriotic. Red, white, and blue. I like oh, it. I you know, like they're that. actually getting ready to start um, their summer happy hour July 1st. They're okay. going to kick it off, but it's great. It's every weekday from 2 to 5 p.m. So happy many hour. Love happy hour. magical drinks right in front of us. Yes. But have you guys heard of something called glitter beer? I have. Just now I'm hearing about this. <laughs> That's a thing? Yeah, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's beer that is sort of magically infused oh. with glitter. It is edible glitter, ah, to that, be clear. Like, that's yeah. good to know. Is uh, it drinkable glitter? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, sure. okay, okay. Red Hook Brew Lab on Capitol Hill, they created a, a highly verotic pale ale, which they'll be uh, serving up at their Pride Party June 24th. And Mollusk Brewing also created a glitter beer for Pride Week. That'll be available at their brew house in South Lake Union. But it's not just happening here, uh, Wisconsin, Oregon, yeah. all over the country, That's Colorado. That's why this is a thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, but you know, when a good I heard, thing. Yeah. <laughs> see, when I heard glitter, I was thinking, you know, the stuff Lady Gaga has on her face, right. you know, different colors. Yeah. Which is also great in a beer. Yeah. Which is, but <laughs> I don't know. But if you tell me that all it does is sort of give it this sort of glow, I'm all you for like it. That? Yeah, it doesn't, it, it supposedly does not impact the taste That's of the important. beer. It just okay. makes it very Instagrammable and pretty. Uh, crows would love it because they like sparkly, shiny things. So do you, Michael. Yeah, I do. And Mike. magic, do. too. He's often distracted by those things, so <laughs> you have to be careful. Cheers. When we come back, the Lake City business where you can pay to break things. It might just be the best therapy money yeah, can buy. Great idea. Sip in summer with the top picks for Washington Rosés. Plus, I'm Kim Holcomb at Kualoa Ranch. This is Jurassic World and dozens of other movies. We will take you on a tour. Evening, tomorrow at 7.30 on King 5. How do you become America's best-selling brand? You make it for dramatic exits. Now get 2,000 cash back on a 2018 Mustang. Only at your local Ford store. Creedence Clearwater Revival Legend Stu Cook and Doug Cosmo Clever. Creedence Clearwater Revisited together with Blue Oyster Cult. Friday, June 29th, 7 p.m., Tulane Amphitheater. Creedence Clearwater Revisited and Blue Oyster Cult. Tickets are on sale now at the venue box office and Ticketmaster.com. Why are these people so happy? Because they're at Silverwood, easily the largest theme park in the PNW. They have four immense coasters. Hashtag coaster face, a humongo water park, and so many water slides we can't even show them all. Over 70 rides, shows, and attractions in all. Be one of the happy people. Plan your trip to Silverwood. Toyota buyers, great savings are alive. Exit 2 off 405. Toyota Brenton. Introducing Jack's new $3 sauced and loaded fries. You get our hot and salty fries, smothered in cheddar cheese and creamy guacamole. Plus your choice of three tasty toppings, tender carne asada, savory chorizo, or chipotle chicken, each for just three bucks. So tonight, kick the party in your mouth up a notch with Jack's new $3 sauced and loaded fries. Only a Jack in the Box. Delivered exclusively with DoorDash. Order now. Don't pay more, get more on Jayco RVs at Valley RV Supercenter. How do you become America's best selling brand? Ready to go? Not quite. Right over here, guys. You make it for projects big and small. Now get 10,900 in total value plus 1,000 on top of your trade on F-150 only at your local Ford store. In the Avengers, Don Cheadle is a superhero, but out here in the wild, when you're ready. his powers are oh boy. limited. Where are we going? Straight down. Does this dude know what he's doing? Running Wild with Bear Grylls, tonight on NBC. American Ninja Warrior is moving to its new night in time. Tonight, 9, 8 central, and the only ninja to ever win it all Isaac is back to repeat history. Oh my goodness! American Ninja Warrior, new tonight on NBC. Welcome back to the show. The next time you're feeling really mad, like end of your rope, kind of angry, Kim, you okay? you've, how, are you okay? Would you like I'm to file a complaint? Okay. I will. 
Kim, you found a solution, right? Yeah, I mean, it does not involve choking your friend <laughs> at a bar. No, this is a pretty cool place in Lake City where you get to break things in a controlled environment. So we went to check it out. So what is this place? Oh, well, this is Rage Industry. You come in here to smash stuff. You come in here to smash stuff. It's a lot of stress relief. It's satisfying, all of those things. There's like a variety of things you can pick, like toilets, TVs, printers, bottles, and then you pick out your weapon. We have like bats, sledgehammers, crowbars, pans even, and then you use those <laughs> weapons to hit the items. How did you even come up with this idea in the first place? A long time ago, I watched Zombieland and I saw that they went in a room and like destroyed everything. And I was like, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open a place where you come in and you destroy everything just for fun. I feel like we do need to give the disclaimer, do not try this at home. No. This is why Rage Industries <laughs> That's why exists. we're open. <laughs> so this is the waiver. Yes, this is our waiver. People are kind of shy at first, but once they break that first bottle, they go all in. Maybe I'll have you demonstrate. Sure. Oh my god. How's it feel? It feels great. <laughs> so aim at the center Just aim at it and just let it go. Okay. How's that feel? Oh my god, that felt really good. It feels good, right? That felt really good. You kind of learn something about yourself and while you start throwing those bottles and you're like, man, I didn't know I had all this pent up inside of me. And you don't have to be angry all the time to do it. It's just a lot of fun. Oh, you're just paying a break, whatever you want, and then we do the clean up. So you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock until you try it. Come on down, give it a try. It's really fun. Three, two, one. I think that did it. Woo. All right, you will find Rage Industry on Lake City Way. Packages start at about 30 bucks, and you can bring in your own stuff to break. Oh. Mm, I have you so like many to. ideas now, <laughs> so many ideas. Well, that's it for tonight. Yes, but join us tomorrow because we're going to have a roundup of some of Washington's best rosés just in time for summer. Perfect. All right. Up next, right here on King 5, it's an all-new Running Wild with Bear Grylls. Have a great evening. Good night, everyone. Good night.